Age of Empires 4 is coming out soon. Unfortunately, this game series, with a 24-year legacy going all the way back to the big box day, won't have a physical release this time around, not even the collector's edition. Since we won't have a physical edition of 4 to look at, let's look back at the collector's edition of Age of Empires 3. Welcome to the physical review, where we celebrate the physical version of games and movies in a world of digital exclusivity. Please pardon the condition of the box. I found this at a second-hand store, and it surprised me when I saw it because I didn't know they made a collector's edition of Age of Empires 3. This box is huge since there's a lot inside. The box has a card sleeve listing all the contents on the back. The front is identical to the actual box, both has raised text. The back of the actual box doesn't have any info on it, just the old-timey map pattern. The numerous items are held in this felt-lined container. The first thing we see is the art book. This is no tiny DVD case size art book. This is a full-size art book. The book alone is worth the price for the entire collector's edition on the secondary market. The books start off with artwork going back all the way to Age of Empires 1. They aren't the focus, but it's nice that they paid a little homage to the games that came before. Of course, they have concept art and design sketches, but they also have untextured 3D models and the different layers of texture that they use for them. This book is dense. Everything from the single-player campaigns to multiplayer design. I wouldn't say there's a lot of spoiler in this art book, but if you never played a campaign before, I would suggest you play the game first, since there are some little surprises that might be spoiled. The artwork on the very last page of the book do make you wonder what Age of Empires 4 would be like if Ensemble Studio never shut down. Next up is the Player's Guide. This is a very info-dense book. It gives the historical context of the time period, and it includes how history impacted the story of the fictional single-player campaigns and game design. It also teaches players how to utilize various strategies for each civilization and multiplayer map. While artwork is sparse in this book, everything is printed in colors. If you think the art book is huge, you haven't seen the poster yet. This is a 43-inch by 27-inch poster. The art selected for this print is the same one that they use on the book cover. The details is amazing. If it weren't for the fold creases, it could easily be mistaken as a painting from afar. Next up is the game itself. They didn't put the regular edition of the games here, unlike many other collector editions out there. The blurb on the back of the box seems a little redundant, since the game is already inside this big box anyway. You can't see it when you're purchasing it. This also comes with a making of slash behind the scenes documentary about the game. This kind of things is always a welcome part of any collector's edition. And I need to point out the clever work in progress design of this label. The title is unfinished with sketch lines and guides, and the image below is partially colored. Yet it doesn't look out of place compared to other items. The soundtrack to Age of Empires 3 is the best of the trilogies. The composition is stronger, with lots of varieties. It is nice to have them on a CD. This also includes a little demo disc for you to share with a friend. The design on the card sleeve for the disc is like a mini version of the regular retail box. Next up is the manual. This is a hefty manual with a lot of information. Given that this is a real-time strategy game with multiple factions and playstyles, in addition to the many changes made since Age of Empires 2, this has to be dense. Unfortunately, this isn't printed in color, but given the quality of all the other printed items, this can be forgiven. Lastly is the quick reference printed on cardstock. It has what I consider to be the most important part of any physical release of a strategy game, a tech tree. It also has a list of hotkeys and civilization bonuses. Normally, I critique the artwork and design on the disc, box, and book covers as I review them. This time around, they're all consistently good. The artworks and designs they used fits the game's time period nicely. I especially love the parchment paper aesthetic. However, the images that they choose to use on the disc, while unique on its own, just kind of blends together when viewed alongside the other discs. One thing special about the Age of Empires 3 Collector's Edition is that everything is specifically made for this edition. 
they could have easily put the regular edition of the game, the manual, or other items into this box. Instead, they made every item special. This is a very good collector's edition. It's a shame that they never release a similar collector's edition to the War Chief and Asian Dynasty expansion. If you're an Age of Empires series fan, and you have the shelf space for this big box, then this is a must-have. There's a lot of content, and the design is thematically consistent. And after all, this is the only collector's edition in the series so far, including 4. This collector's edition contains the only art book for the first 3 games. They did announce an art book for 4, but we don't know if it contains any artwork from 1 through 3 yet. Cost isn't a problem on the secondary market. This is very affordable. The art book alone is worth the price of around $20. If you're looking to get one, I hope that you find one in better condition than the one that I have. What do you think about the Age of Empires 3 Collector's Edition? Leave your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you for watching Physical Review. If you enjoyed the video, press like and subscribe for more.